friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making some delicious blueberry lemon filled muffins. These take a little time to make if you use homemade lemon curd or the lemon pie filling like I am making now. But you can always use lemon curd from a jar to speed up the process. I don't know about you, but I was never a big fan of picking berries when I was a kid, especially blueberries. We had a big field of them in our pasture on the hill, and I think it was because I felt it took so long to fill the big mixing bowl I had and I didn't like bending over. To be honest, it still isn't my favorite thing to do, but I can certainly appreciate the effort it takes to have enough berries to make the delicious desserts and baking like these muffins that always signal summer to me. My grandmother used to make these delicious blueberry pies, snack cakes, and lemon blueberry muffins. Her muffins were a little bit different as she used lemon juice from fresh lemons and grated the rind into the batter. I remember many Saturday morning breakfasts that involved fresh blueberry muffins right from the oven. This recipe I am making involves using lemon curd. Today I'm making them with lemon pie filling from the package. I've used lemon curd from the jar before, but I personally prefer the flavor of the pie filling. Things don't always go smoothly in the kitchen. You can see I actually dumped my sugar into the bowl. I toss my blueberries into the dry mixture so they can get a dusting of flour. It helps keep them from falling all to the bottom. You can use frozen blueberries as well, but the batter may turn a little blue as the berries defrost, but will still be delicious. This recipe calls for some sour cream, and the complete recipe is over on my blog, CelticLassie'sKitchen.com. I like to line my muffin tins. It makes it easier to remove the muffins after they are cooked, especially with having the lemon filling in the middle because the muffins can be a little bit more delicate in removing. I fill the muffin cups halfway with batter, then I spoon a teaspoon of lemon curd on top. I try to keep the curd in the middle as when I put the batter on top, I want it to connect to the bottom. Otherwise you sort of end up with blueberry muffin sandwiches with lemon curd in the middle. Then I finish it off with sprinkling a little bit of sugar on top before baking it in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. Tonight I'm making an easy supper. We are having my spaghetti recipe tonight. All of us in the house have our own recipe, but tonight I am making mine. I use ground chicken and peppers and onions and fresh mushrooms, a can of diced tomatoes and a jar of tomato sauce. 
I season it with garlic powder, onion powder, basil, oregano, and a roasted garlic and red pepper blend, which I have linked down below. I also add about a tablespoon of brown sugar. It's something my grandmother always did, and it helps reduce some of the acid in the tomatoes. My complete recipe I have over on the blog, and the link is down below. I'm also roasting a spaghetti squash tonight for Rob to have instead of pasta. We both have it from time to time in place of pasta and it's really delicious. A few days later, we had a visit from some of our young turkeys. They wandered over from the neighbors and have visited us often since. We must have the best bugs. There was a terrible rainstorm a few days after the turkeys came to visit. It was a little scary as it created flash flooding. Our driveway washed out again and at one point the water even started coming across the street. Thankfully, the water never got into the house and they came to repair the driveway the next day. Every culvert on our road on one side pretty much blew out from the water. We were very lucky for only having the driveway wash out and that we weren't having to deal with a flooded basement or needing to be evacuated from our home. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well. And until next time, bye.